This free training is proudly brought to you by the team at The Migration Mentor. In 2022, the New Zealand government has introduced the new accredited employer work visa. Now, with this work visa, immigrants can come to New Zealand and start working for an accredited employer. That means two things. The new work visa has replaced all other work visas that were in place before this. And also, all employers who employ immigrants in New Zealand need to be accredited through the employer accreditation process. And that process is not as difficult as it may sound. So, what does this mean for you as an immigrant? In this video, I am going to show you how to easily get into New Zealand through the accredited employer work visa and then also show you what you must do and what you must check for to be able to land a job with an accredited employer in New Zealand. I'm Zarelsi from the Migration Mentor Limited based in New Zealand. We help skilled migrants worldwide land their dream jobs. We have a global team and we work in many countries in the world. If you need our hand holding assistance with your immigration journey and finding your job overseas, look for a link around this video. There you will find a page to complete our quick questionnaire. This will give us some information to determine how to best assist you and we will get back to you by email. If you want more videos like this to help you land your overseas job as an immigrant, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so we can notify you when we release more content like this. So let's start. In New Zealand, the accredited employer work visa has replaced all other work visas. So number one thing you need to do if you have done your eligibility assessment a couple of months ago or even a year or more ago, you need to update it so that your immigration advisor can tell you what you qualify for in terms of the accredited employer work visa because there are a little bit of variations about this. You can also go and check the requirements of this work visa on the official immigration pages. Let me show you how. So here on the screen are the official accredited employer work visa visa details on the Immigration New Zealand website from the government. I have to urge you that if you ever check any visa details, either speak to a licensed immigration advisor or check the official details on the immigration pages, the official immigration pages, because this can change in an instant and you need to know the updated information. So if you want to, you can check the details of this visa here. You can check that you can, you can see here that you can stay for up to three years in New Zealand, the cost of the visa and how long it takes. And then you can go through and check the different requirements and the different benefits you can get with this visa. Now for immigrants out there, it's probably easy to see what this visa is all about. It's fairly simple. It's been made very simple by the immigration department to attract new immigrants to New Zealand. However, here is the difficulty. Many immigrants out there will need to land a job offer. Obviously, you will need to be able to have a job offer if you want to apply for this work visa. And that's the difficulty is to get that job offer. So what I actually want to do and show you in this video is the jobs that is probably much easier to get with this work visa than others. And there is a reason for it. And this is a reason. In many countries in the world, including in New Zealand, when an employer wants to employ immigrants, they need to check that they are not already um, putting Kiwis or other people, other locals out of jobs. In other words, they need to check that there aren't any locals already there to do the job before they can employ an immigrant. It's that way in most countries in the world. It's the same way in New Zealand. It's the same with the accredited employer work visa, unless you have a role or an occupation on the green list according to the immigration pages 
or if you get paid twice the median wage which at which is at the stage of making this video $29.66 an hour so if we look at these requirements then we can narrow down the jobs where it's sort of going to be easier for you to be able to find those roles and those occupations with accredited employers and the reason for that is the way that the government has set this up is because in those roles that they have identified on the green list and which pays twice the median wage that's where the most skill shortages are in terms of this accredited employer work visa so what I want to show you in this video is how to find those roles to so check if you are one of those people on those roles right first we're going to check the requirements of what I've just talked about so in terms of the immigration um, rules and regulations in New Zealand if an employer wants to employ an immigrant they need to advertise the role and here are the requirements of how to advertise a role and what is of note here is that they don't need to advertise the role or give evidence of advertising if that job pays at least twice the New Zealand median wage or is on the, occup the occupation is on the green list so we know if those roles are there then it's probably going to be easier to find them now what is the median wage at the time of making this video the median wage was $29.66 an hour so if that role pays twice the median wage then that employer does not need to advertise the role so let's calculate that so if the median wage is $29.66 an hour twice the median wage would be $59.32 an hour how much is that per year because remember we want to go and search for these roles now in the job market and a normal 40 hour week, work week there's about 20, 2080 hours a year so that equates to around $123,000 a year that means for instance roles that pays above $125,000 or so potentially that employer would not need to advertise the role to employ an immigrant if you are the successful immigrant or the successful applicant for the role so let me show you how you can check the job market for roles that pay twice the median wage let's go to seek seek is probably the biggest job listing um, website in New Zealand where employers go to list their jobs I'll show you some others as well there's also LinkedIn jobs so these are job listings and it's different from job search engines but if you want to search for jobs here just click the seek button and then change your parameters for the pay rates to be above say 120 or 125,000 we talked about is twice the median wage and you'll be able to see the job so here we get 4,673 jobs so now we can look at the classifications and you can see which jobs here so for instance if you are in um, engineering and you want to look at jobs that pay above that rate you can see that just in engineering is 470 jobs advertised on seek above 120,000 which are potentially jobs for you that you can qualify for that the employer would not need to advertise for when they want to employ an immigrant now a point here this is probably 10% of the whole job market the other 90% is invisible to you that's a video for another time but also seek is a job search listing there's also job search engines in other words what they do is they go and search the internet for jobs like Google but they look for jobs so like Jora, Indeed, Atsuna those kind of websites and when you go there you can also search for jobs you will obviously see that there are more jobs advertised here because they overlap with the jobs that are advertised on seek but places like Jora would grab jobs of for instance employers websites and here you can check the salary ranges so I would obviously go uh, for the highest possible or above that 120,000 mark which is twice the median wage and then you can look through here in terms of which job types and what kind of jobs advertise again this is probably 20% of the job markets so we need to time this by five to get a really good example of the whole size of the job market so it's probably 50,000 jobs like this paying above that 120 130,000 which potentially 
you could be an applicant for and an employer does not have to advertise. And also, number two is roles on the green list. So what are roles on the green list? If you search online in the New Zealand immigration pages, you will find the green list. And you can go and check the roles on this green list. At the moment, um, at the time of making this video, all I did was just click the search button here where we search for these roles and there were 108 occupations. Now these occupations, you will see here that they talk about an ANSCO code. When you are checked for eligibility to come to New Zealand, that immigration advisor will check your eligibility and they will indicate an ANSCO code. If your occupation is in an ANSCO code that is on this green list, that employer would not need to advertise your job to be able to employ you as an immigrant. So taking a step back, it's really important that you get an eligibility from a licensed immigration advisor so that they can indicate your correct ANSCO code so that you can check if you're on this green list. They will also potentially tell you. And just as a side note here, this green list gives you different residence options. You can go and research that, that's a video for another time, but they can get different residence options when you're on the green list. You can also talk to your immigration advisor about this. So that's one advantage of being on the green list. Right, now, so which roles are on the green list that you can potentially look at? So let's quickly look through this green list. Let's go by industry, right? So we're looking at agriculture here. In agriculture, a dairy cattle farmer or a beef farmer or a dairy farm manager a dairy herd manager, they, not beef farmer, sorry, dairy farmer, dairy cattle manager is on the green list. So if you're working in another country and you have the experience and the qualifications and the skills uh, as a dairy farmer or a herd, dairy herd manager and you get assessed, eligibility assessment for this role, 121313 in the UNSCO codes, then that employer would not need to advertise to get you on board. If you're a successful applicant, you can potentially get um, a, an accredited employer work visa without that um, employer having to advertise. And this thing, having to advertise for employees is a big thing. I've worked with many immigrants and then they are the potential best candidate. The employer really wants them, but they've got to advertise the roles and prove that there weren't anyone else in the country that would already be suitable for the job or be trained to be suitable for the job. So it's really difficult. So if you're on the green list or you get paid twice the median wage, then you know that's not a factor and you can skip that obstacle. Right, let's look at another industry. We will look at, um, say, primary industries and science roles. So let's look what is in there. Environmental and research scientists, food technologists, other special scientists. There's a range of other scientists in that role. And if you want to know more about what this ANSCO code is and who it talks to and what the description, because it's like a job description, what these job descriptions are, just click on the link here. It will take you through to a little bit of description and you can also go and search the details of these ANSCO codes. What I'm going to do is highlight it and um, take a copy of that and then I'm going to search for skill shortage. Check in New Zealand or checker. That's the easy way to get to know where the ANSCO codes is and there's a page there in New Zealand um, immigration website. Always, always go to the official immigration website. Always. I will um, look for or post those ANSCO code in there or just if you want to you can put you know the details of what you've seen um, in the descriptions to other spatial scientists for example you can copy that in there um, and see what comes up other spatial scientists and it will give you the the ANSCO codes you can see the visas that you can get with this role that's beside the point but what we want to look at is that ANSCO code there go through to the ANSCO codes and then have a look at the requirements of these ANSCO codes. Now here is, a, here is where things get really tricky and technical and that is where you need a licensed immigration advisor to advise you of all these things. So here you can see that they talk about surveyors, um, the tasks, the occupations might include surveyors, cartographer, other special scientists, etc. And this is just a way to show you how to get through to more information. Right, so that's the, the green list roles and that's how to check for the green list roles. Let's check one more. Let's go to engineering industry 
or um, group there and we'll, we can see acoustic engineer, chemical engineers, civil engineers, electronics engineers, geotechnical engineers and a whole lot of mechanical engineers, mechatronics, structural engineers, telecommunications etc. In other words, these roles have been put on the green list because the government deemed at skill shortages. They want people really, really urgently for these roles. The employer who advertises or who has this role does not have to advertise and prove that they could get locals. They can employ an immigrant if they are successful for this job. So that's about it for this video. I'm going to stop it here because otherwise it's going to get too long to show you how to be that successful applicant for this role. That is what we specialize in. We help immigrants land their dream jobs from offshore, from a distance. 99% of the people we work with have found their jobs from a distance. So if you checked these pages and you can determine that you're potentially one of these people in the green list or you can get paid one of these um, you know, jobs that pays above the median wage, then uh, twice the median wage actually, then you have a really, really good chance of landing that job in New Zealand because there's such a skill shortage and that employer doesn't have to prove that they could find a local. Thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed the job search tips and strategies that we have shared with you today. Do you want a hand holding service where we will coach and support you every step of the way so you get that crucial job offer no matter how long it takes? If this would help you, take the first step and complete the online application using the link below.